<clears throat> all right uh, shalom uh first and foremost i'm gonna give out all praise glory and honor unto yahawa bahashem yahawa shai bahashem laka kodash and i'd like to give a double honor unto the apostles and the elders at great millstone and uh much blessing much blessing to you brothers out there labor and in truth and in sincerity okay uh i was looking up our articles concerning the microchip and our latest information and so on and so forth and i came across uh two articles uh from last year and i'm gonna show you that iso has a plan to deceive the people because the scriptures speak about iso deceiving the people into taking the chip matter of fact let me get let me get to it okay so revelation uh 19 and 20 says and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrote miracles before him okay uh, speaking of the beast is Esau and NATO the EU are uh, the false prophet concerning uh, the Roman Catholic Church and uh, well basically because all, 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 all major religions come from the Catholic Church okay and it says uh, uh, with which uh, it says with which he deceived them that have received the mark of the beast okay it says he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and them that worshipped his image these were all cast alive into the lake of fire burning with brimstone men meaning they're gonna eat them of the or the, the destruction and the nuclear missiles okay so the point is the fact that esau is gonna deceive people into getting that chip and i'm gonna show you what this article says I mean, a few points in, uh, in this article it says why implanted microchips in humans could go could go mainstream sooner than later okay it says experts experts admit that so far getting humans to adopt microchips implants has been a tough sell okay because people don't want to do, people don't like the idea of being tracked all the all the time man. okay people don't like the idea of uh something being inserted in their inserted in their skin okay it says uh many christians reject them because of concern they could they could they could be they could be a prelude to the mark of the beast which revelation 13 uh, says will be a mark on their right hand or on their forehead because the people in the christian community or iso people in the world are starting to see that the one thing that's fulfilling this prophecy uh revelation uh revelation 13 and 16 is this chip man okay aside from us saying it oh, sorry, okay. as far, aside from us saying it uh, uh people are starting to see themselves man that the, the all the characteristics of this microchip indeed is showing that it is that's it, it it is the thing that's gonna fulfill this scripture man okay so revelation 13 and 16 16 it says and it causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark on their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell okay because people are trying to score this chip where is it going to be inserted in your hands man okay you got chips uh you got the brain implants and you got the chip to go into your hand man okay in your right hand or it could be in your left hand it doesn't matter okay so that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name and so they starting to see that this chip because this chip is going to be the mechanism uh it's going to be like what a, a form of id a, a form of tracking device a form of uh, uh uh to access buildings opening and closing doors uh uh to access vehicles okay because now vsa and vehicles they've got a key whereby you don't even need, you just need to be in the vehicle to switch the car engine on okay and this chip is coming to replace all those things man okay and it says uh and going back to this it says, experts admit that so far getting humans to adopt microchips implants has been a tough sell many christians reject them because of concern it could be a prelude to the mark of the beast okay and this is why it says on the next chapter it says uh but but the marketing tipping point for implantable chips rise the atlantic we're gonna go uh, a little bit through the article as well it says but the marketing tipping point for implantable chips will come when they become so useful they they are hard to refuse when they become so useful they are hard to refuse so what's ESO gonna do they're gonna make 
uh, everything accessible by that chip your bank account accessible by that chip office buildings uh, workplaces the only way to be in that job will, to, will be to have that chip okay your money is to have that chip buying and selling will be to have that chip when they become so useful when their benefits outweigh our anxieties about them it could happen sooner than you think man so it could happen because why because the plans are already in place and this is why you're saying you're seeing alternative options uh to using cash a lot man every every shop that you go into you're gonna find you can use contactless payments you go into a taxi you can pay contactless payments okay any shop that you go into now is contactless payment now because every time I, uh, when i'm working i have the radio on they're constantly promoting the contactless payment okay my bank card before uh, uh you'd have to upgrade to get the contactless uh payment card but now my bank just just one day i just got a letter in the mail and it was basically a new card before even the expiry date uh for my new for my for my old card was due they sent me a new card already and that new card it had contactless payments so they're, they're not even asking you now okay it says uh when their benefits outweigh our anxieties about them it could happen sooner than than you think man when 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 you're no longer concerned about what the scripture says you just want to eat okay you're no longer concerned what the scripture says you just want to have a job okay you're no longer concerned what the scripture says you just want to feed your family man okay eventually because all that is going to go out the window when Esau all that is going to go out the window when Esau, all the fears for for uh for the scriptures is going to go out the window when Esau starts to make this thing mandatory man start to force people start to make it uh to to be to, when Esau makes this thing a part of the system okay then you're going to get forced now to take that chip okay because the people of the world have not been given have not been given uh the faith that the uh that the people that the lord has called into the truth have man the people of the world do not have that faith okay because uh, cause a man in the truth understands when this is made mandatory that's it man you're off the radar man your your whole uh your every step that you make you're relying on yahweh bashim yahweh shai okay how you gonna eat the next day you're relying on yahweh bashim yahweh shai man okay so the lord is gonna be the provider in that 100 percent fully man okay we're not gonna have jobs we may not we may not we may not have a roof over our heads okay you might not know how you're gonna sleep where you're gonna sleep that day okay it says you why you are probably getting a microchip implant someday okay i don't want to read through the whole article because it's uh, as you can see it's a very long article uh okay let's see look it says i believe this technology is going to grow exponentially in stages and in a very short period of time says new jersey state assembly man ronald dancer whose bill will be voted on in the in the coming months we need to make sure that there is full disclosure and consent okay your consent will be taken away soon when it's either take the chip or nothing okay uh hold on look at that say so, but sooner or later the laws will change the frightening will become familiar after all all it took in sweden for the rfid implants to become widespread and normalized and this is what iso is pushing for first of all okay to deceive the people first of all they want to make to normalize having the chip uh normalize the the other methods of payments okay and normalized was the, was the simple appeal of never having to deal with a lot of keys okay whenever it happens like waves of a new technology before it implantable rfid will bring us the next iteration of the yin and the yang symptoms of technology we've seen time and time again we will likely be healthier self safer 
more informed and more com connected and we will continue to disagree over whether it matters if our privacy and autonomy were the were corres corresponding cost your autonomy making meaning what your body man your privacy because they can they know everything because it's a one's ultimate control so they know for a fact is it that because they're they're telling you your privacy will not uh will, you will not be lost if you take that chip but that's a lie man okay your privacy is gone even right now with your mobile phones and your tv your smart tvs and your laptops you you really don't have privacy okay and this is why you when you're uh, when you're on your computer looking up things that you shouldn't be looking at the police are on your door man okay that's how all these pedophiles are caught all the time man okay and they catch them with all kinds of uh, uh, uh materials on their computer okay why because you do not have privacy anymore okay T uh, terrorist groups they're caught why because they go because of their com they, uh, the networks that they're using on their computers I mean their mobile phones okay uh, let me see if I can bring out any more from this article. Look at that. It says, uh, from there, it says, uh, there's, there's an interest but also a controversy with the actual GPS tracking, says Luis Martinez, a presentative medicine specialist in Suan Joan, who has worked with uh, Mac Mullen on chip development since before last year's media frenzy. A lot of parents will feel actually safe if they can track real time whether their children where where their children are. Given abductions, child trafficking and all that, see, deceiving the people again, man. But he says there are even more use cases. Other populations are being looked at for different reasons, law enforcement, or say you could use a GPS chip to identify registered sex offenders. I think it will be a case-by-case -case basis where different countries or different societies will decide. Okay, because it seems like this, this chip has come from nowhere. And this, but all of a sudden is is being spoken of as something that's gonna uh of something that's gonna replace uh it's gonna something that's gonna replace a lot of things in society man uh, for example our money okay that just shows you that this this the idea of the chip has been on the uh, has been a part of the agenda of this uh of the elite for a long time man okay somebody because it just seems like a, a company just comes up from nowhere brings the chip and all of a sudden it's, it's being spoken of to replace uh life uh uh life the way people live their lives today because it's been on the agenda of the list for a long time man okay uh let me see other things that i can bring out in the article look at another more ways in which ESO is going to deceive the people to taking that chip man the company estimates that it will be selling chips capable of tracking whereas life vital signs in a little more than a year but a few other developments will come first okay mac mac Mullen hopes that people will soon consider storing their medical information on encrypted rfid chips okay and the group is also working on a way to make gps enabled chips available as an option for families to track relatives suffering from severe dementia again more ways to deceive the people man another use for the chips that poses both obvious benefits and legitimate concerns man. and i read that the one below that man okay so iso is gonna try first of all to use uh to use the chip to deceive the people into taking that chip okay first of all first it's gonna start off first with being uh being optional and eventually it's gonna be mandatory because scripture says it causes all both small and great so all the people are gonna be uh, for you to function in this society you're gonna have to take the chip okay uh 
uh, when he talks to her about the chips he says she reminds him if i did not have that nerve simulator in my back i would have committed suicide a long time ago i think that's a uh it says it's an undeniable uh, personal project for mcmullen his wife lee suffers from a chronic nerve disorder caused by medical accident in 2009 and relies on an implanted spinal cord simulator to manage her pain when he talks to her about the chips he says she reminds him that if she did not have the nerve simulator in the back i would have committed suicide a long time ago man so that's pretty much they're using her as an example of uh she took the chip and if she wasn't for the chip she would have committed suicide a long time ago man she would have you know she would have uh she would have always been she would have always been in pain okay so the medical uh the medical perspective is another way that iso is gonna use to deceive the masses of the people man okay and uh let's see it says in 1998 the british scientist kevin warwick known by the moniker captain cyborg became the first human to receive an rfid microchip implant but since then development has been slow kela hefanan a researcher in the department of computing and information systems at the university of melbourne school of engineering blames the fact that chipping hasn't yet been accepted widely on what she sees as a chicken and egg problem <coughs> and this is a quote from her he says people don't get them because they are not useful they are not useful enough yet so what are they gonna do they're gonna make the chip uh more useful man okay they're gonna bring out more things that you can use uh that chip with and then eventually now it's gonna become hard to live to function in this society without the chip okay uh let me see bring us some precept here this is psalms 28 and 3 it says draw me not away with the wicked who's the wicked esau is the wicked uh, malachi 1 and 4 the edomites are the wicked and they're the ones who are in power now it says and with the workers of iniquity which speak peace which speak peace to their neighbor this is an example of them speaking peace to you, man, by telling you they use the, the, the good things uh, concerning that microchip. Okay. Uh, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts, man. Okay. They are using all these little tricks and uh, tricks uh, to for you to uh, for you to want to take the microchip. But really, man, they have got a bigger agenda for why they have that chip, man. Okay. Mischief, man, in their hearts okay they want to have they want to enslave you again okay they want to have ultimate control over everything about you okay they want to control your money okay if they shut the chip if they shut the chip off you cannot function in this society man okay so that's slavery already man slavery okay and it says i give them according to their deeds and according to the to to, to the wickedness of their endeavors give them after the work of their hands render to them uh their desert man okay so eventually man the lord is gonna destroy them man okay uh it's a uh, Isaiah 10 and 1 it says war unto them that decree unrighteous decrees putting a chip in the people is an unrighteous decree man especially because the lord says don't do it okay because they have the scriptures if you go to uh revelation 13 you're gonna see even the blue layer tells you that is the mark of the uh let's go to it the mark karagma the word is uh karagma okay in the greek and it says a stamp an imprinted mark of the mark stamped on the forehead or on the right hand of the badge of the followers of the antichrist man 
okay because he saw basically he's trying to say human is this this particular mark mark is uh is is uh is something of uh of uh of, of satan man okay because when he saw the, oh, the, the the word the, the word understands the the word antichrist as as you know uh satan man okay the devil pretty much okay but we know it's uh the word anti means against and christ you know the anointed man against the anointed okay a mark planted upon horses thing carved captured graven because the, the the chip itself gets graven into your skin okay and now let's go back to uh it says isaiah 10 and 1 is a war unto them that uh, that decree and righteous decree okay and righteous decree trying to enslave the people again man here the heavenly father is calling his children back and Esau is trying to enslave them again okay just like in uh in egypt when the lord said i uh, let my people go to moses to uh to pharaoh what did pharaoh say he hardened his heart so the lord is doing that to, to Esau as well and that right grievousness which they have which they have prescribed when all their laws when they make that shape mandatory when they force you into a corner okay when they give you no choice but to do either the because the, the number one reason why you're not going to take the chip is because the lord said not to take the chip but is going to turn around and go say okay if you're going to listen to the lord this is what i'm going to what i'm going to do to you you're not going to function in society okay to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may they may rob the fatherless men and we are the widows and the fatherless all right uh let me see what else i've got here um, okay uh, let me go back to the article uh okay let's say uh, i'm gonna read this and i'm gonna close it out it says a decade later floating throughout the in uh the eruptive uh hula balu around three square three squares chip party you know little brothers made uh made uh videos concerning the three square chip party okay where all kinds of fears some credible some less so about the dangers of introducing sub uh sub demo radio technology to the american workplace and this is what the concern of the people were it says that companies might make widespread use of this technology mandatory so basically if you want to stay if you want to keep your job you need to have the chip so what are you gonna do then okay when iso makes that mandatory okay you're gonna go ahead and take the chip to keep your job to feed your family or are you gonna trust in the heavenly father okay now let me close that and uh with uh so revelation 3 and 10 it says because thou hast kept the word of my patience okay which is this truth okay and do not the lord has told us to do it says i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation man when the hour of temptation is when or when when there's when you when when uh when you're in a situation whereby the only thing left for you to eat is to take that chip because now we go we go alternatives now we go cash we still go cash even though it's on the decline we got our bank cards okay and there's many ways to buy food now but soon when all that is taken away when you have to take the chip to survive that's that hour of temptation now man we are at the peak of that hour of temptation which is coming slowly but surely man okay i will also keep thee from the hour of temptation we shall come upon all the world to try them that do upon the earth man so all the world is gonna suffer this microchipping man okay anyway man i don't want to make this video too long i hope that was edifying and until next time i'll say shalom